first day of school. Homework assignment: write a seven-page essay. Write me a ten-page essay on why you shouldn't jump off a cliff. Because you die. That is correct, but it is not ten pages, so you fail. Finally, the NHL preseason has started. I can finally stop watching the Mets and end my pain and suffering. After the preseason. I am broke. I have no money. No home. No job. No one to support me. I need money. Someone help me. Damn, that is sad. I will help you. Here's some money for food. God bless you. Thank you so much. No problem. Later that day, you find that same person in a steakhouse in Vegas with a big meal enjoying themselves. Hey, I won't be able to make it to work today. I feel very sick. I have no energy and I can barely do anything. That sucks. I appreciate you telling me. And I understand the situation. Thank you for letting me know. Get well soon. Thank you so much. You're the best. Hey, anything for my employees. You go out to eat during lunch break, and you find your employee at the restaurant partying with friends. Okay, time to ace this test. Instructions. All participants must get all questions correct to pass the test. A few minutes later. You answered a hundred out of a hundred correct. But unfortunately, you need a hundred and one out of a hundred correct to pass this test. Wanna take it again? Okay, time to book our tickets for the escape room. A ticket costs $36. Sounds like a good deal. Time to get the tickets for me and my best friend. Two tickets cost $160. I didn't mean to pull the fire alarm. It was an accident. Hello? Can you- No! Not this shit again! I have told you millions of times I'm not giving you money! I have bills to pay! I need to pay for things I need! Leave me alone! Why are you being rude? I just want money! That's all! Nothing else! Exactly! You only care about money, and nothing else! How many times do I have to tell you before it gets in your head? If you want money so badly, why don't you get a job? Nah! Jobs are for the ugly! Suck. You are the worst saint to be created. I wish you nothing but failure. Die. A few minutes later. Shit, I am so sorry about that. My friend had my phone.
In today's episode of Job Hire, we have two candidates for an amazing job. Person 1 has a master's degree, is always known to be the best worker everywhere they went, has contributed to the community and society, and is an all-round role model. Person 2 is uneducated, a criminal with thousands of charges through a long century of criminal history, killed people, said controversial things, only did things for themselves, and is hated by everyone. Now it is time to check in with the boss. Thank you for applying to this job and coming in through our interviews. After going through the interviews and your history, I have made an easy decision. A decision so easy that I know it will play a major role in helping this company thrive. After much consideration, the person who will be working in my company is... Person 2. The best team has the most wins, the most points, broken every record imaginable, and no one can stop them. Also the best team gets swept in the first round. Oh boy! Finally! A good season is coming up! Aaron Rodgers is with us! We're going to be good again! Aaron Rodgers gets injured after one game. A boss in a video game killed everyone you love, enslaved you for years, is evil and controversial, and wants to destroy the world because he is unhappy. After playing through the entire game, you come face to face with him. Okay, at last, we meet. Now it is time for an epic final boss fight. You shoot him once, he dies, and the game is over. Trying to save in internal darkness.